Well, I would uh, start with the idea, Brandon, it's a slow growing love uh, that you learn and that you uh, pray through and that uh, comes naturally after a while. But you have to, in the beginning, uh, I think, uh, sort of get a, accustomed to who Mary is. And of course, as you know, I always say we learn a lot about Mary through starting with the scriptures, because the scripture, as you know, is the soul of knowing about Mary. Would you say that, Brandon? Well, I think so, but I think I learned it from you, so. <laughs> okay. But yeah, okay. I mean, I know that as Marianists, that's kind of our starting point, as opposed to particular devotional prayers that maybe other founders have passed along that we start with Mary in scripture. And something that I have picked up from Father Bert is you know, a tender love and a devotion for this woman who is alive and is our mother, not just an idea, um, but but the mother of us all. Yes, I think I, the first thing I learned as a principle from the Marianists was that uh, whenever you're at prayer, our blessed founder, William Joseph Chaminade, encouraged us to put ourselves in the presence of Mary. And he said, if you really don't, as a Marianist, it's going to be a sort of a sad prayer or a sorrowful prayer. And I think the Marianists are supposed to exemplify Mary's joy as she sh showed in the Magnificat. So I would say uh, keeping her in mind makes prayer a joyful experience.